Assalamu alaikum sisters. Today I'm going to share with you five tips on how to wear less makeup. If this is your first time in my channel, my name is Claudia and I am the creator of Claudia Nur Cosmetics, which is a line of makeup and skincare that is made with all natural and halal ingredients. Um, now, because of this, I do have the chance of speaking with a lot of sisters. And even though we speak of many different things, uh, a very common thread in our conversations is the fact that they want to wear less makeup, they want to be more modest, and that they're looking for an alternative to like regular makeup. So after many conversations, I have gathered five tips that I think are really beneficial if you are looking into wearing less makeup. So stick around and I'm gonna share them with you. So the first tip is to seek knowledge. If you are on a journey that you want to wear less makeup, that you want to be more modest, it's not just about wearing less makeup, but it really has to be um, the why of why you're doing it. Um, when you seek knowledge, when you increase your Iman, when you get a different perspective, it really can help you um, with this decision and it can make it so much easier for you. Um, when you learn about the Prophet ﷺ, when you learn about his companions and the women of his time, you realize that really what we learn from is not the way they look. What we get from them is not how what they did um, with their appearance, but is their actions and their character and really the content of the person and not really the out the outward appearance. So this is um, really like a big point because when you're able to change your perspective, it really makes it more clear that your appearance is not that important and it can make it easier for you when you're making this transition. Um, so seeking knowledge is really the first, first thing you have to do in this journey because it, it's just going to make it that much easier for you. So my second point is don't follow all of the latest trends. Don't fall into the hype because most of the times these trends, they make us change our appearance. Um, they make us want to be more appealing to uh, men and that goes completely against our modesty guidelines. So when you can detach yourself from doing these things and following um, what others are doing, that can help you a lot um, in your modesty journey. And when you actually detach yourself a little bit, you can see how these trends are nothing more than that. They're gonna come, they're gonna go. And if you are able to hold on to your principles, then you're gonna feel so much better. And that gets related, um, this point relates to the first point because the more knowledge you have, the more you can realize that these trends are not beneficial to you. And you are able to um, unfollow accounts that make you fall into these trends that um, when you see them, you want to do that. Um, when you have the knowledge of understanding that these are the types of things that can make you fall into that temptation, then you are able to just say, I'm not going to fall into that. I'm going to unfollow these accounts. I'm going to stop um, watching these kind of things because that's going to help your heart to be more pure and it's going to help you um, with your modesty and with your journey. So the third tip that I want to share with you is take care of your skin. Um, I speak with a lot of sisters and some of them don't some of them don't realize how connected skincare and makeup really are. They feel that one of the reasons they will have to wear makeup is they want to cover up something. Um, most of the time it can be acne, it can be um, hyperpigmentation, and these things can improve if you are able to heal yourself from the inside. So by taking simple steps, you really can help yourself um, help your body and at the same time you're helping yourself to be more confident in your own skin. Um, I began with only um, powder foundations on my makeup line and then slowly I added skincare items because for me it was a very simple um, it was a very simple routine of oil cleansing and all natural skincare that really helped my skin. And um, this can be a subject for a whole nother video. So if you want to see more about my oil cleansing um, experience, please leave me a comment and I will try to do that video. 
You can improve your skin by working from the inside and eliminating products that have a lot of chemicals um, because that can really make a difference in and of itself. There is also this, um, you can find it online, it's an experiment of somebody that didn't drink enough water and just the act of drinking and being aware of how much water she was drinking for a period of time, I believe it was like a month, it made such a big difference in her skin. So a lot of the complications that we have, um, especially with the way that our skin looks, can really be improved if we take simple steps that we can maintain over time. So my fourth tip is to take it slow. Um, and this is something that is going to be different for everybody. You cannot really compare yourself to other people because you might be just starting your journey and somebody else might be years into your, their journey. Um, so my advice is to choose something that you know that you can do without, that you know that is um, a step that is easy for you. And then if you take these steps in that way, they're going to add up at the end and you're going to see yourself improve so much. Um, I know that for me, the things that I am doing now, I probably felt they were a little bit too much when I first started practicing and I was used to wearing a full face of makeup and, you know, like all out and concealer and foundation and mascara and everything. Um, I know that at that time, maybe what I'm doing now would have seen a very difficult, but if you take it slowly and you are able to just be honest with yourself and decide what you can do, then that will reflect itself into a big change over time. If you think that all you can do right now is just maybe not wear um, falsies, don't wear um, fake eyelashes, that is a great step in and of itself. The actual fact of just wishing and having the desire of wearless makeup or researching why you are doing what you are doing, that is an amazing step. And don't beat yourself up because you are not in a place that other people are. Or maybe you think that you should have improved more and you haven't. Um, just beating yourself up is not really going to work. But always remember your intention and do things that seem small but that you can keep up over time. And then eventually it's going to add up and it's going to be amazing. Inshallah. And the last tip, tip number five, is learn to choose the right colors. It can really make a big difference what colors you are applying. Um, if you wear nudes and neutral colors, it can really um, look modest, even though you might be wearing the same amount of makeup that you normally wear. If you want to um, be more modest and wear less makeup, but you're not ready to give up anything yet, this is a great way to transition into just um, looking more modest, even though you might be applying the same amount. One thing that I like to do is to have a lot of options when it comes to colors, um, because what looks modest for one person is not going to look modest for the next. Um, I know especially for a color like coral, um, the cor coral lipstick, um, it can look modest on sisters who have darker skin tones, but it can look really um, bold on sisters that are lighter skin tone. So I have a lot of different colors that can um, fit into the nude um, and neutral palette depending on your skin tone. So also learning what colors can complement you in a way that is modest is really important. And even if you like to wear eyeshadows, um, wearing an eyeshadow that is more um, brown, taupe, beige, um, it can make you feel good about yourself without giving the impression that you're wearing a lot of makeup. Um, so if you want to see a video on how to choose the best colors for your skin tone, do um, leave me a comment and I will try to do that because this is such a big topic that I feel um, you need a whole um, you need a whole different video to cover that. But if you would like to see that, leave me a comment. But just um, being aware of that and um, starting to research um, which colors are more modest for you is a great step and a great way to transition into wearing less makeup. So those were my five tips. I hope that you found them beneficial. I hope that you like them. Um, if you did, um, then leave me a comment below so that I know. And um, if you want to see more of these types of videos, also leave me a comment so that I can um, plan them and do them in the future, inshallah. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.